With the GoCurrency.com sports ticker, I'm Tim Mulhelped on the Huskers Radio Network. Nebraska football made coordinators available to the media this morning. Among many topics, defensive coordinator Eric Schnander discussed the improvement. He's seen a nickel defender, Isaac Gifford. I'm much more comfortable um, with his role, you know, being out there with the starting group, um, you know, communication wise, feeling like he has some say, you know, kind of last year, you know, you're a young guy and you get thrown in as a quote unquote non-starter that takes a, a starting role at the end of the year and you're kind of listening and waiting and having other people help you out. Now he's able to communicate with everybody else. Uh, but I really like what Isaac's done the last couple couple weeks. We'll hear more from Coach Shenander and Offensive Coordinator Mark Whipple later in the hour. Elsewhere in college football, following week one, the latest top 25 rankings are out. The Alabama remains in first, but Georgia bumped Ohio State out of number two as the Buckeyes clock in at three in the latest polls. Michigan follows Ohio State at four, and Clemson rounds out the top five at five. Other Big Ten schools of note, Michigan State is ranked 14th, while Wisconsin comes in at 19. Teams that fell out of the top 25 include Oregon and Cincinnati after tough losses this past weekend. And Florida went from unranked into the top 25 all the way up to number 12. And Tennessee went from unranked to number 24. In Major League Baseball tonight, the Yankees and Twins were rained out, but a lot of other games going on as we speak. The Mets and Pirates are scoreless in the second inning. The Rays lead the Red Sox 3-0 in the top of the second. It's scoreless between the Marlins and Phillies. That one also in the top of the second. In a rain delay, as weather continues to be an issue all over the country, it is the Orioles and the Blue Jays. I do not believe they had first pitch in that one, so they're waiting to get started there. 6.40 p.m., the Reds will battle the Cubs in Chicago. At 6.45, the Nationals will meet the Cardinals in St. Louis. At 7.10, the Guardians take on the Royals in Kansas City. The Rangers travel to Houston to battle the Astros at 7.10 at 7.40. It will be the Brewers in Colorado to take on the Rockies at 838. The Tigers are in Los Angeles to play the Angels at 840. The Diamondbacks take on the Padres in San Diego at 840 as well. The Braves meet the A's in Oakland. The White Sox battle the Mariners in Seattle also at 840. And at 910, another West Coast game, the Dodgers hosting the Giants. This update is presented by Currency. Does your business need help financing big ticket items like equipment, trucks, and trailers? Currency is here to help. Visit GoCurrency dot com for details that's the ticker i'm tim mulhelped and sports nightly is next on the huskers radio network coming to you live from memorial stadium it's sports nightly all the huskers all the time sports nightly is presented by the ndot highway safety office who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down snap back thompson has it now dancing with his feet rolling out Looking for a man downfield. Going to take off and try Holy. to run with it. Now he scrambles back the other way. Looking, steps, throws downfield. Has Isaiah Garcia, Castaneda, makes a catch. 45 of Northwestern to the 40. Weaves his way to the 35, 30, 25, 20. Bumped out of bounds. My goodness, what a play. Casey Thompson. Side set, Lindsey Krause, kaboom. 8-7, Nebraska set two after winning the first by two. Snap back. They give it off to Grant right side. He touchdown. is in. Touchdown, Nebraska. And the Huskers have the lead back here in Ireland. Pepperdine volleyball. Bumped over to the left. Aaron swings. Stuffed. Match point. Big red. Kaelin Hall. Kennedy Hall. 25-22. Nebraska wins it in three. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Well, we're back. Here's a Tuesday night sports highlight for those of you who are tuning in tonight and just assumed we weren't here last night. Well, we were. Where were you? We were. We worked the holiday, Jessica. We did. I mean, football season means you work holidays. That's exactly right. We had a great show last night. So if you miss it, I'm sorry, but you were probably out barbecuing or doing something fun, maybe putting your boat away for the last time of the year. But here we are tonight. Going to have some fun over the next two hours. Big day for the coordinators to talk to the media. We'll hear from both Mark Whipple and Eric Shenander coming up here in just a little bit tomorrow night. Wow, what a matchup in Omaha tomorrow. Husker Volleyball against Creighton. Two top 20 teams will play at the CHI Center. And their early start, 5, eight, five o'clock start for the first serve for that one. And they're almost sold out for that matchup tomorrow night. We're going to hear from Kenzie Knuckles in hour number two. And the uh, Team Jack folks were the beneficiary of the Husker Road Race back in July. We're going to get an update on how that did financially. And there's going to be a big presentation at the game on Saturday. We'll hear from the Team Jack folks coming up 
in hour number two as well. I'm ready for some volleyball tomorrow night. That's going to be fun. I know. And as you'll hear Kenzie Knuckles talking about, the atmosphere there last year was awesome. And it sounds like it's going to be like that again. And she said that was her favorite road match of the season. And so I know they're really looking forward to it. And it'll be a good experience. We've heard Coach Cook talking about even some of these freshmen being a little bit nervous in front of home crowd. You know, just again, getting that feel for being in front of a very large crowd, which they're going to be experiencing a lot of throughout Big Ten play. And obviously the goal is to be back there in December. That's the final four for volleyball. We'll be right there in the CHI Center. So to get a chance to know what the locker rooms look like to walk in could be really beneficial for a team if you've played on that court before. Oh, absolutely. To have a feel for it. I mean, there's a reason why... You know, you hear basketball coaches wanted to play in a big arena yep. in when they can outside of a home arena, but a big stadium type arena that you would be playing when you, if you made it to March Madness and, and you know, the making a run in, in that. And then also a lot of times the softball teams try to play at the Women's College World Series at ASA Hall of Fame Stadium, but just to get a feel for it, to understand what it's like. And, and that's a reason why Coach Cook wanted to play back-to-back years at Creighton and said, because it was supposed to be a home year here, but to be able to go there, get that experience, you get a feel for what it's going to be like if you make that run. And it's got to be really motivating too. Hey, you could be playing here and for a Final Four here in just a couple of months. Absolutely. No show, no volleyball show tonight. The team is treating it like a true road game. And so they are traveling up to Omaha tonight. They'll go through a traditional road team uh, environment, go work out, do studies, get used to meeting in rooms in a hotel like they'll do so many times throughout the year. So no volleyball show tonight. That actually will be Thursday night during hour one ahead of our football show. And by the way, our football show this week will feature defensive coordinator Eric Chenander will be here Thursday night. So get uh, get ready to talk to the Husker DC uh, tomorrow night on the program. You mentioned basketball. Tomorrow on BTN, uh, they're going to announce the women's conference schedule. Uh, middle of the day is when that will take place. And then the men's schedule will come out on Thursday. So we've been all kind of waiting to see the conference schedules. And uh, that's going to happen in the next two days. It'll be 11 o'clock tomorrow morning on BTN is when they'll unveil the women's conference schedule. And then the same time on Thursday will be the men. I'm ready to see that. Let's go, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. And just uh, means that we're getting closer and closer. But then also you can start mapping out, okay, this is when they play here. And when you can go watch them play here. And then if there's a volleyball game at the same day, then you can figure out your plan of attack on how you're going to get to all those events. Usually the, the, everybody plays a game or two before Christmas. We, we'll find all that out tomorrow and then uh, kind of settle in for that. So I, you know, we thought maybe that was going to come out in late August, but here we are into September before we get the basketball schedule. Huskers went through a practice session today, uh, and then we heard from the coordinators after the practice session. I, I, this is probably one of the first normal weeks they've had in about a month because going to Ireland was not normal. Coming back from Ireland and the jet lag – that wasn't normal last week, so this week's more normal for the guys. We've heard a couple more of them talk about how there's kind of some crud that went through the team last week with some illnesses, and hopefully they're all shaking that off a little bit uh, and getting ready for this, uh, this matchup with Georgia Southern. Did a lot of prep today on Georgia Southern. Man, are they going to throw the football all over the place. It's kind of an air raid type offense. They don't really care if they run the ball. It's going to be a lot of passing Saturday night at uh, inside Memorial Stadium. And so I know Coach Janander is going to get the guys ready for that. But we've seen a lot of passing really the first two weeks, both from Northwestern and North Dakota. Yeah, and, and uh, taped a podcast with Jeremiah today, and he was talking about, you know, for from Northwestern and North Dakota, saw those, that short passing, and that kind of was an issue for our, our defense. And so I'm anxious to see, because if team, teams are going to keep throwing it at us until the, they figure out, you know, how to to combat it. And so I can't wait to see the adjustments that are made because I imagine that we'll probably keep seeing it every week. North Dakota threw it 37 times. Now, I, Eric Chenander will probably go, I'm fine only giving up 130 yards. Is what and That's all they threw for in 37 pass attempts. So it was a lot of that really short, dumpy stuff. Then you got to tackle well. And that's been – that's got to get better for Nebraska – uh, is that quick tackling, and we'll hear that from Eric Chenander coming up here in just a little bit. Offensively, I, I think Nebraska maybe kind of found something late in that game last week where they realized maybe our best offense could be some running the football with with A.G., as everybody calls him, and then 
uh, A.J. Allen, who did a really good job. So we'll see how the game plans tweak. And again, we'll hear from uh, both coordinators coming up here in just a little bit. It had to be good for the offensive line, too. Just I mean, which I know they've seen it, but to see it done in a game, just give him a little bit of space. And they go. And he can they, – they can make stuff happen. Just a little bit of space, you know, just – just open it up a tad, and, and he can make something special happen. So we're getting closer to the uh, second game. It's a night game on Saturday night. There's a little bit of chance of rain in the forecast I saw today uh, for Saturday night. Hopefully that isn't too too uh, wet. I know we need the rain, but uh, I don't really want to play in the rain. I don't think the Huskers want to do that either, uh, playing in the, in the rain. All right, uh, 402-413-2400. That is the number if you want to be a part of the program tonight. That is our Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. 402-413-2400, uh, the number to dial us up with a comment or question, or if you want to fire off a text you can certainly do that as well we're back with more of the show and our practice report straight ahead in america the future belongs to everyone so we designed the ford trucks of the future for everyone ford f-series america's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight made for performance and capability on and off-road because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few they're built for america Ford F-Series. Drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. The name of our new promotion says it all. Powerball First Millionaire of the Year. Through September 12th, buy a Powerball with PowerPlay ticket at any Nebraska Lottery retailer and enter the voucher number to win a trip to New York City for New Year's Eve on December 31st, 2022. Plus, you'll also get a chance to win $1 million and become the Powerball First Millionaire of 2023. Remember, this promotion ends on September 12th, so plan ahead and play today. Powerball top prize odds 1 in 292 million. Let Shelter Insurance get you in the game this football season. The Nebraska Huskers are gearing up for another big year, and this is your chance to win tickets from Shelter Insurance and the Husker Radio Network. Contact a Nebraska Shelter agent, and they'll register you for a chance to win tickets to one of four home football games this season. Only Shelter agents can register you, so call, email, or drop by for your chance to win. Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com huskers and ask them to register you to win. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With the simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. At Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant DeKalb brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb. Always read and follow green marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Seasons change, but your land stays the same. You need the right solutions to keep you moving. That's why you rely on Acres Equipment, your premier John Deere dealership and proud partner of Nebraska Athletics. Whether you're harvesting, protecting your crops, feeding the herd, maintaining your lawn, improving your business, or letting off some steam. Acres has what you need to get the job done. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. 
Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe health care should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Every single day, Central Valley Ag works with our farmers to feed the globe. From white corn, non-GMO, food grade, and organics, the world's appetite for food grade grain is growing every day. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Find the rep who can help you plan next year's value-added grain program at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska is proud to support Husker Athletics. Having a competent teammate beside you makes all the difference when it comes to protecting what matters most. With a proven track record of dependable coverage, unmatched financial strength, and a prompt claim service team right here in Nebraska, that's insurance kept local. Visit FMNE.com to contact an agent for a quote today. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Tuesday night. So glad you're with us here on the program. If you want to be a part of it, 402-413-2400. You can call or fire off a text. Time now for the GoCurrency.com Husker Football Practice Report. Both coordinators met with the media today. We're going to start on offense with Mark Whipple, and he, he got asked about, you've had fast starts. Both, both games you've scored the first time you've had the ball in the first half and the first time you've scored in the second half. First time you've had the ball in the second half, you've been able to score. He talked about some of the keys to that. I, I don't know. I don't, uh, you know, we kind of have plays we walk through and what we think and before the game, and then we have plays that we like that we haven't run and just kind of talk to them about it. So, um, you know, we made third downs. That's, that, that's the first one was a big third down by Alante. So uh, I'm trying to harp on our guys on third downs. And I said, it's pretty simple. And the, the, the week before, not to get off your question, but the week before, we were 0 for 3 in the fourth quarter. Last week we were 3 for 0, 3 and 0, and difference in points. So we've executed and made some plays. Um, Stark got, you know, made a big play in the first play of the second half and kind of took it from there. So. I think he was really happy that they executed. They, last week, one of the mantras in practice was finish because, you know, they, the last six drives against Northwestern, we didn't get any points. So they wanted to be better in the fourth quarter, and they sure, they sure were this past game. Yeah, and I think, I mean, again, just the way that getting out to a fast start and the game plan and um, – I think that that's definitely good. And then being able to continue to put the pedal to the metal. Absolutely. Yeah, big. In fact, this next clip, he talks about mission accomplished last week. We've been able to finish this, uh, the end of the game against the fighting Hawks. Yeah. I mean, they, that we, we talked about it all the time and, and, uh, and they certainly did. And, um, but probably bigger than that was, uh, how they handled the adversity when when uh, 
Casey threw the pick on third down, and uh, they responded at that point. I think they, there wasn't anything like the week before where we got the pick and looked around. Those guys knew what they had to do and talked about finishing. I could hear them on the sideline, and, and that's what they did. So that, that's the real positive part is uh, obviously these guys listen to us and kind of believe in the coaches that are, that are coaching them. I take that as a good sign. I think there was some progress made on that side of the ball. Maybe a little bit more belief in each other after last week's game. Yeah, and I think just again, I think being able to run the football and be balanced and you uh, against an opponent like North Dakota, you wear them out and, and seeing because the yards per rush were just not very good against Northwestern. Not. And so you improve upon that tremendously. And so you, you again, you just continue to show growth and continue to, to improve. All right. Um, so a lot of new faces on offense, including coaches with that side of the ball. How has the communication between the offensive staff been through two games? Here's what Coach Whipple had to say on that topic. Oh, we're just talking to all the coaches, what Mickey thinks and some of the guys that way, who we got in, what we're going to do. And, and Coach Donnie and Coach Frost and uh, myself, obviously. You know, Coach Applewhite would run him back certain things that way. So we're talking in between, talking at halftime. So talk before the game during a week like now. Hey, these are certain plays we like. Let's see. What are you seeing on that part? So, you know, they gave us a couple things that were a little different. I, I really didn't expect them to play that much drop eight and zone. You know, I thought they've always been a really aggressive team. And, uh, you know, they changed that up. And we made some adjustments, you know, as, as we went. That way, at, ha at halftime, was a big, big thing. I remember last week they were talking about we thought they were going to see a lot of blitzing, a lot of stunning, and, and North Dakota didn't. They laid back and made Casey try to find some room, and that's why the running game got cranked up. Well, and which is what I told you at the end of the second half, they had started to commute. There was a lot of communication going on between all of the coaches, and so they took that into the locker room and were able to, hey, this is what's going on. This is how we got to fix it, and moving into the second half. And that led to 31 points yeah. in the second half. All right, one quick clip here f to, to wrap up with Coach Whipple about Georgia Southern. What about their defense? What are they kind of working on this week to get ready for Saturday's game? I don't know. I, you know we, I played Georgia Southern four times. You know, obviously when Paul Johnson was there, they, were, they played in the national championship and played them in the second round of the playoffs down there. They, they have better athletes than they look on tape. And that's what I told the players. It's the same kind of thing. This is a big game for them. They played in a bunch of big games. Um, you know, we played them when they were in, in the Sun Belt. They got good athletes and the guys that can run. So I, we told them they're going to be a little bit more twitchier, faster than you see on tape. And, uh, you know, they have a long standing, much like Nebraska. They have a long standing. They've won their five or six national championships. and that way and wasn't that long ago they were pretty good at uh, they were winning 10 11 games going to bowl so uh you know as i said I, i'm glad i'm 0 2 at georgia southern so i'm glad we're here in lincoln this week so i'm hoping that will be a an asset long time program of being one double a then fcs and now they've transitioned to fbs you know what else they have a lot of on that roster is a lot of sixth and seven year seniors unbelievable isn't it yes they got a lot of experienced players on that football team 24 25 year old guys out yeah there playing so this game. you know you've got to think that guys that have played that much football no matter what it is aren't going to be as intimidated as Correct. some of those young freshmen that are experiencing this for the first time yeah the eagles are old that's an old team coming in here <laughs> on saturday night all right let's switch sides of the ball let's hear from eric chenander Obviously, the inside linebacker room uh, took a hit last week when Nick Henrich unable to play, and Ernest Hausman got a start as a true freshman. Uh, so, Chins was asked about Ernest and how that room held up without uh, one of their leaders in Nick Henrich. You know, uh, Ernest had his first start, you know, did a good job. Obviously, there's going to be some mistakes from a, from a young guy, first time out there, and especially in, in that environment, you know, it's a little different. Uh, going to Memorial Stadium in a packed house, uh, especially when you're from Nebraska. So um, Ernest made some mistakes. We'll get those cleaned up. Like I said the other day, he, he's going to be a fantastic player. He's going to continue to get better and better and better. Uh, you know, Luke did a good job running the show when he was out there. Chris stepped in and, and took a lot of uh, valuable reps for us. You know, so it, I, felt, I felt like they played a good game. You talked to Chris after the game, didn't you? I did. And you want to talk about a player who will absolutely learn from experiences moving forward and get better from it is Ernest Hausman. There's no doubt about that. So just getting that experience, he will take from it. He will grow from it. But you could tell that there were times that he was 
doing some really good things and then also sometimes that he needed to be better in and, and you could just get a sense of that in the way that he was being coached by not just coach rude but also those guys that have been there and playing but yes Chris Klarvik and he didn't even he hadn't played inside linebacker since the spring he just got pulled over there in the um at the beginning of this week just hey we, we might need some depth and he's like whatever you need me to do I'll do it and, and he played a lot yeah he did he did all right two games in Eric Janetter was asked, assess your defense for two games. Yeah, not good enough. Not good enough yet. Uh, once again, not up to our standard. Uh, but I, I, I feel like this is a young group uh, that's hungry, that, that wants to be good, that wants to win, wants to do things the right way, and I think that they'll continue to get better and better each and every week. And that, that's the exciting thing about this group. When I went back and watched the game, the defense was, I thought, better than I realized when I watched it live. Does that make sense? Yes. They only gave up 10 points. Yes. Because the interception gave them the ball at the eight. That's, that's really more on the offense giving up the ball. 10 points, you'll take that every week. I think it was more so how they couldn't get off the field, yep. especially at the end Into of the, the second quarter. And so, you know, and even at the first drive, because there's the first drive and then they – were better the next however many drives. And then that last drive at the end of the second quarter, I think that's when you kind of feel like they weren't playing as well, but then they didn't give up points the first drive. And so, um, yeah, that's just getting the ball back to your offense is, was, right. the, I think, the, the big complaint probably with the defense. All right, tackling. Everybody wants to talk tackling, so we follow up that he just said defense hasn't been good enough yet. How about tackling in his eyes through two games? We still, you know, we still missed, we still missed a few um, out there, and <clears throat> some, you know, unfortunately, most of the misses we've had the last couple of weeks have led to extending drives. Uh, we've got to do a better job leveraging the football right now. Uh, all levels of the of the defense, D line, linebackers, DBs, everyone's got to do a better job leveraging the football. And when you leverage the football. Those missed tackles, if you do get a missed tackle, they turn into one extra yard instead of five or six or, or plus. Uh, so we just got to do a better job leveraging the football right now. So they know it. They, they see it. And you just hope it gets better week after week. And you, you heard Coach Frost yesterday say, we're going to let our one offense go against our one defense a little bit more this week in practice so they get used to maybe a little bit quicker player hitting a hole a little bit quicker and that maybe will sharpen them up some. I remember that was one of the first things that jumped out to me coming from the Big 12 to here, coming from Oklahoma to here. is like, wow, this team tackles really well. So it's obviously there's guys in, the, in this defense that know how to tackle and get guys down to the ground. You just got to get back to that, and it sounds like that's what they're going to do this week. The follow-up question for Coach Janander was, what, what, what are some of the keys for you to get better defensively? Uh, right now, uh, you know, the things I addressed the, the, the defense with was, you know, leveraging the football like we already talked about. That'll save us a lot. Finishing drives. Um, right right now, they, they're playing hard, you know. Um, we always want more effort, right, but they're playing hard. So right now, thankfully, we don't have to correct that. We've got to correct a few technique issues, leveraging the football, and finishing on drives right now. So there's the rundown, and I think, yeah, you, you, you brought it up, those, that long drive to start the game and the long drive to end the half. There were a couple of third down situations. They had a chance to close it out, and they didn't get it done. Those would be disappointing. Well, and again, just when you knew that the offense didn't have a rhythm, then that makes it even harder. And then so it just kind of makes everything look worse than what it what it is. But And I think that that was kind of part of it. Is like you just felt like, um, again, just being down there, I felt like the offense had figured some things out, and they did. But it was so frustrating because it's like just – get them the ball, and they just couldn't get them the ball there at the end of the, uh, one, the first half. One of my frustrations, I, we're not forcing many turnovers. Now, they, they had some deflected passes the other day, and I, I think I made the comment in the broadcast, those you need to pick off. When the ball gets deflected up in the air, you need somebody to get in there and dive and grab that thing. And I think we had the one turnover we forced against Northwestern. That led to points. We had one turnover last week. And that led to points. But that's it. Those two turnovers in two games. Here's the coach talking about trying to get some more turnovers and get the ball to the offense in good field position. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's what we're talking about, you know, in the thing. And it hasn't come to fruition enough. But generally, the turnover aspect is if you watch college football, you know, if you watch NFL football, 
It's 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 <coughs> overthrows and tips. It's guys stripping the football out, and then it's just pure hustle to get to that tip, to get to that overthrow, to get to that fumble. And you, you love to see a guy, especially a big guy, hustling downfield and, and recovering one of those. As much as we've seen both Northwestern and North Dakota throw the ball, have we really been very close to an interception? I don't but know again, it's have. those short little passes. It's, true. it's hard to get out there and grab that. You know, and yeah. and and we're going to see a lot more of it Saturday. Yes, and so you got to figure out a way, and and that's. What Jeremiah and I talked a lot about today is that it's so frustrating, yeah. and it's it's what Purdue did at the end of last season. Exactly right. So it's what Northwestern saw on yep. film, preparing that they saw that they could take advantage. Nickel and dime you, just nickel and, it. And so yeah, you got to figure out a way to to combat that, and we'll see what adjustments are made. But when they're not throwing the ball downfield, it's not giving you a, a chance true. to Very pull true. in those interceptions. Good point. Great counterpoint there. You know, and that's why I know Garrett had a deflection. I think. Caleb Tanner had a deflection. Those are the ones you need to pick off. When the ball gets tipped up in the air and it's hanging up there, that's where you need you to gotta get to go teams down. in third and long so that they do try to throw it. Correct. You know, you to, to, push to get down. those opportunities. Yeah. All right, we'll leave you with this. Here's Tanner talking about Georgia's Southern. What does he expect to see from the Eagles? And he's gonna talk more about what we were just talking about, those short passes. Yeah, I mean I mean there's a few few tweaks in coverage, obviously. Uh, <laughs> more formational stuff than anything because of some of the things they do <clears throat> you know if you let them get uh in front of the sticks it's going to turn into a track meet on that drive uh so there's you know tempo situations you got to get ready for formation stuff you got to get ready for and then they have some um interesting passes that put some players in conflict that we have to get ready for too so uh it's a nice offense you know they they, they have a good scheme and obviously the guy's been doing it for a while he's got it pretty much perfected so a uh, lot, lot of stuff to get ready for they threw it like 50 times in their opener against Morgan State. So they're going to just come out. They're not going to try to run the ball much. It's going to be throw, 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 throw. The air raid is coming to Lincoln. Well, and especially, too, if it's been shown that it's been successful at times and teams are going to keep trying to do it until the defense shuts it down. Yep. And that's their best way they can have a chance to try to win the game. They're, they don't have the superior athletes, so they got to try to come in and just kind of trick you a little bit to put points on the board. That is our practice report, which has been presented by Currency. Does your business need quick, easy, and secure financing for equipment, trucks, or trainers? All you need is Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. All right, phone lines open for you, 402-413-2400. You can also fire off a text. We're back with more of the show coming up. Successful farmers must make good decisions every day. In pivot irrigation, the choice is simple. TNL exclusive hydraulically powered pivot irrigation systems are like no other. You get tough, reliable, and cost effective irrigation. Let TNL's 60 years of irrigation experience work for you. Call your local TNL dealer or TNL irrigation company today. TNL, like no other. The launching serves for the set. Well done. Good pass, though. Set in the middle. Corrales fires. Doug Nebraska outside. Kubik for the set. She did it. Kaboom. 25 23. Nebraska wins four straight. Hey, Huskers fans. Tomorrow, Nebraska volleyball looks to stay undefeated as they travel up I 80 to take on 17th ranked Creighton. Huskers Radio Network pregame coverage begins at 4 30 p.m. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. It's more than a Lincoln, it's your Lincoln. Custom order your next luxury SUV with Woodhouse Lincoln today. Choose from the full range of Lincoln models and curate every detail to your deepest desires. From exterior color down to each accessory, our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff will guide you to your next vehicle. Begin your custom order journey online at woodhouselincoln.com. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? 
you might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant DeKalb brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. For 46 years, our focus has been our customers at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont. Come see for yourself how easy buying your new car, truck, or SUV at Sid Dillon can be. Stop by our dealership in Fremont to order your new vehicle and shop in stock and inbound inventory. And if you need a commercial vehicle, we're your GMC Business Elite dealer. Shop at SidDillonBuickGMC.com. GMC, we are professional grade. I'm so glad we called SOS. Our AC is the coldest. I'm always the coldest. SOS to the rescue. Hey, this is Dakota Scrawford, raw receiver from Louisiana, now playing in Lincoln. When your AC isn't the coldest, you call SOS heating and cooling. Their takes don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than a competition guaranteed. SOS Take it from Dakota. We will keep you cool this summer. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Thanks for calling Toyota. This is Jan. How can I help? Hi. Thanks for telling my family and me about Toyota's national sales event. Oh, you're welcome. We got a new RAV4 during the event, and it's been great. Well, that makes me happy. Right now through September 6th, it is the best time to drive off in a new Camry Hybrid, Tacoma, and more. So what are you up to? You know, we took the RAV4 to a great spot. We've hiked, rafted, and now we're exploring a cave. Amazing. You're inside a cave right now? Yep. 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 Well, I'm glad the RAV4 could make it all happen. Yeah, my wife talked me into spelunking. I'm actually a complete and absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. Huh, I could have done without the echo on that. Toyota's national sales event is on. Visit your participating Toyota dealer today to enjoy every last second of summer. Toyota, let's go places. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Dealer inventory may vary. Event ends September 6th. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBeefeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every Field. Bill and Waverly on our tech line. By the way, our number is 402-413-2400. Bill wants to know, why are we paying a special teams coach if we've not done a punt return in the first two games? Um, well, the Northwestern punter was just terrific. It seems like pretty much, Jessica, the first two weeks, every time we're back to retrieve a punt, we're inside of our 10-yard line trying to get the punt. Yeah, and the Northwestern, they got every bounce, too. But I, I was diving into this, so the um, – the first punt opportunity was... This is North Dakota. Yeah, North okay. Dakota. Okay. So the first one was... They, it was the first drive that went they all got the to way... Our, they got to our 30 37. Seven, so, yeah. So Oliver Martin was back and fair caught at the 13-yard line. 
Then the next time that they punted, it was blocked by Javen Wright. And then um, I don't remember. There Basically, I went through every time that there was opportunity to punt. There was only two that maybe you could question. The rest were either um, fair caught or Into touchback or, yeah. or, yeah, blocked. Yeah, so I just we just have not been able to field a punt in the part of the field where you can really set up a return. So, yeah, maybe there was a – I don't know. I don't really remember the one that was uh, fair caught by Isaiah – Garcia Castaneda, but that was at the 23 yard line. I don't know why that one wasn't returned. I don't remember that one. I just seem to remember that he was surrounded by defenders. It was a pretty high kick. Yeah. High. And so, Bill, it's coming. Uh, you just you need a little help from the other team's punter to line one at you. That's when you get the big return. You have a good field percent or field position too. You know, and so Correct. the couple. How many of those times were they towards midfield where you don't have that opportunity? You know, they, they can try to pin you there and flip the field. But, Bill, good good question. They're coming. I, I think that's going to be happening. And then our text question for us was wondering uh, why Yant didn't play Saturday. Um, well, I mean, do you really – and this is Wayne in Colorado. Do you really not want Anthony Grant out there? Yeah. Or A.J. Allen? I mean, I, at some point, uh, you got to go with a hot hand. And right now, I think those are the two best backs – I want them with the ball in their hands as much as possible. Especially once Anthony Grant got going, you don't want to take the ball out of his hand. And and I know they tried with Gabe Irvin to give him an opportunity. And um, but yeah, I I just I think they kind of had who they thought were going to give them success, and and that's who they rolled with. Doug in Norfolk, maybe I missed it. Was there an explanation by any coach why we were calling timeouts on defense at the end of the first half? Doug, we did talk about it last night quite a bit. I have no issue with it. I think Scott Frost was trying to get one more possession out of it. Even somebody last night argued with me, well, he should have called them earlier in the half to save the time. But I think there was just under two minutes. They had third and 12 of the Nebraska 33-yard line or whatever. At that point, I think he's thinking, we're going to stop them right here. I'm still going to have my three timeouts. We're going to have plenty of time. But then there was the first one he called at 54 seconds after they went first and 10 and got no gain on first down. Then at second down, they got two yards. He called the second timeout. They have second and eight at our 12. He's still thinking, if we can get 30 seconds on the clock with the way we can throw the ball down the field, we'll have a chance. So I think that was more of it, trying to get a possession. You were on the sideline. The offense certainly wanted the ball back there late in the half. They absolutely did. I mean, again, I, I took it as they were trying to get the ball back however they could with however much time because they thought they had figured something out. And so yeah. that, that was my take on it. Right. So I, I, in fact, I don't think the media has asked Scott Frost that question either in post game or in the Monday. I think the media kind of gets it. I, I, you know, I, there's been a lot of consternation from a lot of fans about that. And I just, I totally understood what he was doing. And I, I also get it when you say, well, he should have called him way earlier in the half. Perhaps, but I think he thought the defense would stop and get off the field at some point in time, took over that third and 12 with about two minutes to go. Then he would have had all three timeouts in his back pocket. And you call him as well. If he doesn't call him, people are going to go, well, you got to the halftime, you had three timeouts. That does you a lot of good. You can't carry him over to the second half. So you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, like why, why wouldn't you use him? Yeah. And it try to, and they thought that they were going to get the ball back with a little bit more time than what they ended up getting it back with, but... You can't take them with you. Yeah, they, don't not, they do not carry over uh, into the half. Uh, Steve in Woodcliffe Lake says, what defense should we, we be on on those short passes to stop it? I think the best thing is you've got to tackle, right? As way, if they're going to throw it for two, three yards, tackle. They're not going to be able to move the ball down the field, and they're going to miss a throw or two, and you're going to be able to get off the field. And, and again, Tommy Schuster attempted 37 passes Saturday night for a whopping 131 yards. I think Nebraska did a pretty good job and kind of keeping everything in front of them. The longest pass play of the game for North Dakota, Jessica, was 15 yards. That was the longest pass play they had in the game. Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of dink and dunk. Yeah. And Northwestern did a lot of dink and dunk. I mean, how many big pass plays did Northwestern have? I don't have that box score. I mean, me. not, not as many as... The one long one that was busted for a touchdown. Yes, but other than there, there weren't, of all the pass plays, or all the throws that they attempted... Very few of them. I would. The percentage was way less than 50% that were um, long plays. So, 
Buckle up, put the phone down, a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. 402-413-2400, the number to be part of the program with a comment or question. If you want to fire off a text, same number works for that as well. We're back to wrap up Hour 1 next. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. Farmers can make what seems impossible reality with a little hard work and ingenuity. They find solutions to reduce inputs and improve their yield. Valley Irrigation is no different. As the leader in irrigation technology, we deliver results and optimize your operation. Because when you have a vision for the future, you need the people that can make it possible by your side. Expect what's next. Expect what's possible from Valley. Visit us at valleyirrigation.com. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Back by popular demand, Hy-Vee drive through Flu Shot Clinics. Just follow the signs in your Hy-Vee parking lot to get your flu shot right from your car. It's easy, convenient, and no appointment or prescription is necessary. drive through Flu Shots are offered on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 7 p.m. Or get your flu shot inside your Hy-Vee pharmacy at any time with no appointment necessary. Plus, when you get your flu shot at Hy-Vee, you get a 20-cent Hy-Vee fuel saver. Some restrictions apply. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Husker Athletics offering a Big Ten mini ticket plan for the four conference home football games. $200 a ticket. And they get you a ticket to the Indiana, the Illinois, the Minnesota, and the Wisconsin games. All the games in September sold out, but starting October 1st of that Indiana game, there are still some tickets available. If you have an interest in that, go visit Huskers.com slash tickets. So that'll be after October 1st. We'll get here before you know it. 402 413 2400, the number to dot us up with a comment or question. Or if you want to fire off a text, you can do that. Stephen Norfolk says, I sure hope the Huskers can fix all the arm tackling uh, this game. You know, Eric Chenander talked about that, that, you know, that they're still missing some tackles and they got to clean it up a little bit. And I think the head coach said Monday, I guess that was yesterday, yeah, that was yesterday, that they were going to have some ones on ones in practice this week to maybe. Simulate the, the quickness that you would get from a first string offensive line unit. So, yep, yeah, Steve, that we all hope that uh, that tackling gets picked up a little bit uh, better as they make their way through. 402 413 2400, the number if you want to be a part of this on a Tuesday night. No volleyball show tonight. I know you're used to that on Tuesday nights, but they're already up in Omaha getting ready for that match tomorrow night against the Creighton Blue Jays. And they will uh, take on the Jays at 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. It's an early start. Some of you will just be getting off work when they have first serve. So that will knock off Sports Nightly tomorrow night 
Uh, and, but we'll be back on Thursday with the volleyball show, followed by the football show. And our football show this week will feature Eric Janander, Husker defensive coordinator. We can get into a lot of this as well as we move forward. Tim in Minnesota said, talk about consternation about our defense being picked apart by those short passes. The loss last season to Purdue comes to mind. That's what a lot of teams, I think, are copying that Purdue game plan. And why not? It worked pretty well for them. Yeah, I mean, that's Jeremiah and I talked about that in the podcast, actually going in to Northwestern. And he, he said that. He said for a lot of times preparing for a team that you might not – know a lot about but going back to that Purdue game and seeing what Purdue did to Nebraska and that's exactly what Northwestern did and then that's what North Dakota did too and so and that and we talk about that on this week's podcast too it's just hey it's going to be it's like NFL too if you see if they see something on film that works they're going to keep doing it until you correct it and find a way to make it not work. The latest, and Tim had this back at the beginning of the hour, the latest AP Top 25 poll is out. How about Oklahoma up to number seven? They should have no problem with Kent State this weekend. So that's going to be a top 10 team coming to Memorial Stadium in a couple of weeks. The uh, the poll jumbled around just a little bit. Ohio State dropped down a spot uh, with Georgia being so impressive against Oregon, moving to number two. The Buckeyes down number three. Michigan up four spots to number four. Uh, Clemson uh, went down a spot to number five, even though they kind of cranked it up in the fourth quarter last night against Georgia Tech. And Florida goes from unranked to number 12 after they hang on to beat Utah. Utah threw a pick in the end zone in the last minute of the game that preserved the win for the Gators. I'm not sure that deserved them going from unranked to 12th, but so be it, they are. So, but Oklahoma up to number seven. Wow. Seems a little high. Yeah, I mean, because I, I don't know what, they did to show that against a team like UTEP, you know, I don't know how challenged they were, so I don't know how much they showed that they... Right. But. And they won't be this week either. Nope. With Kent nope. State. Lincoln Riley, the former Oklahoma coach, now at USC, they have climbed into the top 10. They're at number 10. They have the primetime game this week. They're playing Stanford up in the, the Bay Area, so that'll, that'll be your primetime game opposite the Huskers matchup. Nebraska also playing at night this week. I love night games. Can't wait to get in there. Uh, th- Gotta, we've got to be hearing Thunderstruck, right? Thunderstruck's got to be coming in the third quarter. There's got to be something going on. <laughs> what time does it get dark again? Well, the game will be underway right now. So it'll be dark by, by, by halftime. It'll be getting dark okay. at halftime. Yep. So third quarter? Oh, yeah. Got to be. Gotta I be wonder if they're going to change up the song this year. Keep them guessing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to know. I want to be surprised yes. when that, when that happens. I'm excited. Next hour, Kenzie Knuckles will be here. We'll talk to her, previewing that match with Creighton tomorrow night. Also, we're going to hear from some of the folks from Team Jack. They uh, were the beneficiary of the road race the Husker football team put on in July as that went to raise money for pediatric brain cancer. Folks, we'll hear how the Husker football team did in raising some money for that. They're going to be on, they're going to be making a check presentation at the game Saturday night as well. So all that coming up in hour number two. Our Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. Good first hour. Great to hear from both coordinators. Good texts. Keep them coming. Keep answering those texts. Calls in hour number two. And we'll talk to Kenzie Knuckles on the other side as well. Come on back. Have some more fun with us here on a Tuesday night. us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series. Drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! 
Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A common voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org. Huskers. The name of our new promotion says it all. Powerball First Millionaire of the Year. Through September 12th, buy a Powerball with PowerPlay ticket at any Nebraska Lottery retailer and enter the voucher number to win a trip to New York City for New Year's Eve on December 31st, 2022. Plus, you'll also get a chance to win $1 million and become the Powerball First Millionaire of 2023. Remember, this promotion ends on September 12th, so plan ahead and play today. Powerball top prize odds 1 in 292 million.
With the Gold Currency Sports Ticker, I'm Tim Mulhelped on the Huskers Radio Network. Nebraska football made coordinators available to the media this morning. Among many topics, defensive coordinator Eric Chenander discussed the improvement he's seen in his nickel defender, Isaac Gifford. I'm much more comfortable um, with his role, you know, being out there with the starting group, um, you know, communication wise, feeling like he has some say, you know, kind of last year, you know, you're a young guy and you get thrown in as a quote unquote non-starter that takes a, a starting role at the end of the year and you're kind of listening and waiting and having other people help you out. Now he's able to communicate with everybody else. Uh, but I really like what Isaac's done the last couple couple weeks. Elsewhere in college football, following week one, the AP's latest top 25 is out. Alabama remains in first, but Georgia bumped Ohio State out of the number two spot as the Buckeyes clock in at number three. In the latest polls, Michigan follows Ohio State at four, and Clemson rounds out the top five at five. Other Big Ten schools of note, Michigan State is ranked 14th, while Wisconsin comes in at 19. Teams that fell out of the top 25 include Oregon, as well as Cincinnati, after both suffered tough losses this past weekend. Florida went from unranked to number 12 after their big win, and Tennessee went unra from unranked to number 24. Over to pro sports tonight in Major League Baseball. Games in action currently, it's the Pirates leading the Mets 3-0. That one is in the top of the fifth. And then looking over toward the AL East, it's the Rays pulling away from the Red Sox 5-2, and that one is in the fifth as well. The Marlins and Phillies are tied in the fifth. The Blue Jays are uh, leading the Orioles 2-0. That one's in the third. The Reds lead the Cubs 2-1, that's in the second. The Nationals and Cardinals are scoreless, that is also in the second. And just about set to get started are the Guardians and Royals, as are the Rangers and Astros. At 7.40, we'll see the Brewers take on the Rockies. At 8.38, at 8 it'll be the Tigers in L.A. against the Angels. The Diamondbacks meet the Padres in San Diego at 8.40, also at 8.40. Braves will travel out to Oakland to play the A's. The White Sox meet the Mariners, that one's also at 840. And finally, the Giants are in LA to take on the Dodgers at 9 10 p.m. This update is presented by Currency. Currency makes financing quick, easy, and secure for heavy machinery, ag equipment, trucks, trailers, and more. Visit gocurrency.com for details. Again, that's gocurrency.com. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and hour two of Sports Nightly is next on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Good pass, Matty Kubik outside set. Whitney Lonstein, kaboom! They can only try to slow her down. You can't stop Whitney. Boy, she's gravity's worst enemy. Give it off to Grant. He picks his way inside the 45, bounces to the outside. 40, 35, 30, foot race now. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Now outside Mississippi blocked. Kaelin Orr, Whitney Lonstein. That's a combined 13 feet of humanity. We're tied at 19 in Lincoln. Snap back to Casey. Throws downfield looking for Trey Palmer. He goes up and did he hang on at the 37 yard line? He did. What a grab by Trey Palmer. Beautiful pass, back set. Lindsey Krause, kaboom. 19 18, big red. Chancellor Brewington in the game to block. They fake the handoff. Casey rolls out, flips it out in the flat. Brewington makes a catch. He's going to go down to the goal line. Touchdown, Nebraska. Going to roll out, flip to Chancellor Brewington, and he scores. It's his second career Husker touchdown. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Hey, this is pretty cool. If the Oscars return the first or second half opening kickoff for a touchdown this season, you could be a winner. A $54,000 credit on a new vehicle from any Woodhouse Auto family dealership this season. A contestant gets chosen each week to get yourself registered to be a contestant. Go to Huskers.com slash Woodhouse for official rules and how to enter. I got a feeling that's going to happen this year for the Huskers. Welcome back to our number two Tuesday night show of Sports Alley here on the Huskers Radio Network. So glad you chose to spend some time with us tonight. Great hour coming up. We're going to talk some Husker volleyball with Kenzie Knuckles here in a couple of minutes and then check in with the folks at the Team Jack Foundation. They uh, were part of the road race at the Husker football team. And I think, was it the volleyball team that was over passing out no, drinks? No, it was men's, bas basketball? men's basketball. Men's basketball passing out drinks. Yep. Cool. Uh, volleyball was, but then something came up and they had something that they had to be at. So men's basketball stepped in. Good for them. Great for them. And again, the uh, basketball conference schedules are coming out this week. The women's tomorrow at 11 a.m. on BTN. 
the men's at 11 on Thursday on Big Ten Network. Can't wait to see those things get cranked up. Well, tomorrow night at this time, I hope we're celebrating a Husker victory on the volleyball court as it should be about done two hours into the match. I can't wait. And again, we've seen so many different things from this team. What, what are they going to look like? It's a, a rivalry match, and it's going to have be a great crowd. I can't wait to see how they uh, come out and look against Creighton. Haven't lost a set. No. Isn't that crazy? Yes. Five matches in. You had a chance to catch up with Kenzie Knuckles yesterday. They had a big press gathering, and uh, she's always fun to talk to, and she's off to a good start. I just love Kenzie, and so, yeah, it was fun to get to chat with her. Hadn't talked to her since uh, the spring, so here's Kenzie Knuckles. All right, well, undefeated to start the season, haven't even been beat in a set. How do you feel about how this team has come out of the gate? I feel really good about it. We have a lot of new people, and it's been very different not having, like, Lauren's difference in her class here, obviously, but we've been really working through things and figuring things out, and we're a really close team, so that really helps us. We haven't had a chance to talk with you since captains were announced. Mm -hmm. Second year in a row, you're team captain. What does it mean to you to be chosen to lead this team again this year? Yeah, it means a lot to me just because I am a DS, and you don't typically see, like, DS captains, but... Uh, I just have built really good connections and relationships with my teammates and being able to help in that way and kind of be an emotional leader has been something that's been really helpful for me and them. So I'm excited to do that again this year. You've been doing a ton of stuff. You're all over the court and coach talked about that, calling you the MVP last weekend. You're serving, passing, setting all of the above, everything that you're able to do on the court. How much do you enjoy that, being able to be called upon to do multiple things? Yeah, it's really fun, honestly. I mean, gr growing up, I was an outside hitter, so I was just expected to kill balls. And I came into college and they were like, JK, you're going to be a libero. And I was like, OK, like, let's try this out. And now I get to be a DS and I get to hit back row a little bit, too. So it's really fun and I, I really enjoy it. When you get a kill from the back row or, or whatever it might be, do you hear the crowd, how they erupt? Yeah, absolutely. It's so loud. And I kind of forget for a second because, like, during practices and stuff, we work on it a lot. And, like, it's, like, normal to me at this point. But I kind of forget that they only get to see it, like, one time a match. So they're like, whoa. <laughs> so it's really exciting. Because well, my, my parents came, and that's a – I mean, the crowd just erupted. So it has to mean a lot to you that the, this crowd appreciates you so much in everything that you do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It means a lot to me just because – I mean, as I said, I'm a DS, so sometimes it can kind of be like, oh, like she goes in, she serves, she does whatever, but I think it's really cool that they really like that about it, because I love it. We've talked to you a lot about, you know, you, you changing your role and accepting your role, but, you know, just being good at so many different things. What's gone into that? Because I know Coach stresses, you know, being able to do all of that to be on the court, but what's gone into that for you personally? Yeah, I would say just working on like mentality stuff, um, being a sub and being out for three rotations and coming in for three rotations, there's a lot of different things that you have to do in order to be able to do that and I think just like staying focused and like mentally being prepared and like staying in the game like on or off the court and I don't know just working on certain skills and being able to have this level of trust that my teammates trust that I can come in and I can give just as much as they were giving when I was out off the court so that's awesome coach was talking you guys ran a 6-2 on Thursday and only worked on it a couple of different days but how good is that that you guys are able to work on a few different things and have some different looks that you can throw at people yeah it's really nice because I think like right Right now we're working with a bunch of different things but long term that can be very beneficial that we have three setters that can set so I mean it's like that's pretty nice I can't complain about that you know and you, you talk about working out the kinks figuring each other out what goes into that how do you guys continue to come together in that way I know you're close but then just playing yeah. together yeah absolutely um, just in the past like we worked really hard on like just productive huddles and like what we value and what we think that's going to help us get the next point and like our mentality on the court and we work really hard with doing that so I think that this year with it being a bunch of new people I think we just kind of have to start over a little bit with like trying to figure out each other and what each other needs without I don't know without even thinking about it like I knew exactly I can tell you exactly what Maddie needs when she just looks at me and I don't have to put any effort into that but that's really helpful being able to play as a team like that so just getting to know our teammates and like getting getting to know what they need on the court has been something that we're really looking forward to do. What about all the different offensive weapons and the offensive production you guys got from really all over the court how good is that? Yeah yeah, it's really awesome. I mean, we have Maddie that can just score whatever. She's just amazing. She's very consistent. And then Winnie can just hit the 10-foot line when she feels like it. So that's pretty nice, too. And then you have Lindsay that's super consistent on the right side. She can hammer balls, but she can also mix in roll shots. And then Allie, she has, like, off-speed shots. So I don't know. I'm all over the place <laughs> with it. But they're, they're all super good. So that's a, that's a benefit of running a 6 too. One thing that Coach had said, though, that has to improve for you guys is, is what you guys do from the service line. What goes into that? Absolutely. I think serving is all mentality just because it's you and the ball and you know how to do it. So 
I don't know. It's just a mentality, I would say. And I think that with all the moving pieces that we have right now, we're working really hard on like mentality and working together and like building all of those things, which can take away from other things as well of, I don't know, just staying focused and mentally being in the game when it's time to go back and serve. So I think that's just something that we're working on. I don't think it's a skill thing just because we have the same servers as we always had or from last year at least. And we were fine serving last year. So I think it's just mentality right now, but we're working through it. Creighton, what do you guys need to do to go up there? I mean, you got a lot of freshmen that's going to be their first time on the road. It's going to be a crazy atmosphere, big time matchup. What do you guys need to do to go up there and get a win? I think we just need to play Husker volleyball. I think if we play Husker volleyball, we'll be fine. Um, we know how to do it. We do it every single day in practice. I think that sometimes even when we are statistically still playing the same and hitting the same and passing the same and doing all these things, it can look a little bit differently because it's not going as smooth or like we look a little bit different out there on the court because we're trying to figure each other out right now. And especially with running a 6-2 and then sometimes not and stuff, it's a lot of just leaning on the people next to you. So I think, yeah, we're just going to have to play Husker volleyball and figure that out a little bit and have lots of communication. And we don't really know who we're playing with, you know, because it changes a little bit. But um, just being able to communicate with one another and work through that, and I think we'll be fine. How exciting is that, though? I mean, going to be a crazy crowd, big crowd. I know you guys played in front of that here, but mm -hmm. with the rivalry and playing in potentially where the Final Four yeah. is going to be played, how exciting is this opportunity? Yeah, it's super exciting. Even last year when we played there, we weren't – at least I wasn't expecting it to be so much fun and like such a like wow moment. But then after we played there, I was like, wow, that was one of my favorite games just because it was like, it just felt like Nebraska. Like it was just like, wow, like this, all of the Nebraska fans are here right now. And whether they're Creighton or Nebraska, they're here. And yeah, it was one of my favorite matches last year. So I'm excited to go back. And our, they had really good pregame food. So <laughs> we all talked about that. That was the best pregame food ever. So we hope that it's the same this year. Hey, we did have a texter text in about a pregame meal. What is your pregame meal? Oh, it changes. It really does change. I don't know. I go for what a solid. Yeah, whatever I'm feeling. Usually I love salmon. Okay. So I do like a salmon and rice or like salmon and veggies, something like that, or chicken. So I substitute the salmon and the chicken <laughs> sometimes. Love it. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Coach Cook told me the other day he's a salmon Yeah, guy. they're all salmon people. You know, so. It's hard to go wrong with salmon. It, I, I like salmon, but it's got to be the right salmon. Yeah. Like, Cooked how I like it. Did they have that at the training table today? Yeah. Salmon? Dinner day at tilapia. Dead fish. Mm. That's not salmon, but it is fish. Yes. I like <clears throat> tilapia. How's the uh, the uh, helmet fun going? Well, you know, Children of the Corn on the chat had a great suggestion <clears throat> about getting Andrew a top hat helmet so it doesn't mess up his hair. Yeah. Okay, I could just see him riding around the hay market with like with a, a top, top hat. hat. Yes. That would be stylish. Yes. If anybody can pull it off, it's Andrew. Well, last night, folks, for those of you who missed the show, um, Andrew has a new scooter, so I, I'm worried about his safety. I think he needs a helmet, but he's worried about a helmet messing up his hair. I think people would like to still donate. I just don't, I, I'm not sure how to go about setting that up. <laughs> yeah, there's probably better causes than Andrew's helmet. Fund. Like Team Jack. Like Team Jack, which we're going to get into here in just a couple minutes. Great to hear from Kenzie again tomorrow night, 5 o'clock at the CHI Center. I think there are just a handful of tickets left for that match. Yesterday, there were over 14,000 that have been sold uh, for that. 5 o'clock, 4.30 pregame here on the network with John Bader and Lauren Cook-West, who I am told, rumor has it, she's back in Lincoln. Yes. She's, I have been told she's going to be at the game for the first time since before COVID, and she is going to be here in studio hosting Coach Cook's show. So that is going to be epic. Fantastic. Tune in for that. Fantastic. We are inside of our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Back to talk about Team Jack. They were the beneficiary of the road race that Husker football puts on every summer. We'll hear about how that turned out and get the latest as we are in uh, Pediatric Brain Cancer Month Awareness Month here in the month of September. All that's coming up next. Woodhouse Ford is your certified Ford dealer, serving drivers throughout Nebraska for 47 years. Our commitment to our customers continues well beyond the date of purchase. You will leave our lot feeling comfortable and confident in your new vehicle. Customers have been relying on Woodhouse Ford since 1975 for high-quality vehicles, knowledgeable staff, and exceptional service. Experience the Woodhouse Ford difference and shop at one of our three locations in-store or online at woodhouseford.com. 
I'm University of Nebraska-Lincoln student Hannah Baum with Campus News. Students in Nebraska's Rake School of Computer Science and Management created software that is saving a Nebraska e-commerce company 34,000 hours of work per year. Created by a group of five Rake School students for their Design Studio Capstone project, this software is one of 300 real-world software solutions created by Rake School students. Be launching serves for the set. Well done. Good pass, though. Set in the middle. Corrales fires. Doug, Nebraska outside. Kubik for the set. She did it. Kaboom. 25-23. Nebraska wins four straight. Hey, Huskers fans. Tomorrow, Nebraska volleyball looks to stay undefeated as they travel up I-80 to take on 17th-ranked Creighton. Huskers Radio Network pregame coverage begins at 4.30 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake em up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raise local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. Every single day, Central Valley Ag works with our farmers to feed the globe. From white corn, non-GMO, food grade, and organics, the world's appetite for food grade grain is growing every day. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Find the rep who can help you plan next year's value-added grain program at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake em up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raise local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series. Drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Do you want your date to wait for your interlock device to let you drive? Your kids to ask why you have an ankle bracelet? Or your boss to see your criminal history? Do you want to miss important life events because of house arrest? Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A calming voice saying it'll be okay. 
Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org slash huskers. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. Nebraska 811 says go dig red before you dig. Always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, it's the law. As we welcome you back to Sports Nightly, I'm Jessica Cooty and so excited to be joined by someone very special to the Nebraska Athletics Department. Her and her family, Bree Hoffman, is a part of Team Jack. Bree, we had you on in the summer leading in to the road race, but we got a lot of uh, big weekend ahead with at the Husker football game. So thanks for joining us for a few minutes. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Well, it's football season, and you'll be here this Saturday. Uh, how exciting is this time for your family to have football back? Oh, we are so excited. You know, it was always uh, one of Andy's favorite things uh, when football season started. So we're, we're definitely excited to be in Memorial Stadium and, and watch the Huskers. So for those that, uh, you know, might be hearing you talk about this for the first time, a lot of people know about Jack and the, and the touchdown run and all of that, but can you take us back through the relationship with the Huskers and how that first began? And, and man, that was, what, over 10 years ago? Yeah, it was really crazy. So it originally started um, after Jack was diagnosed. He was going to have to go and do a second surgery and Andy had reached out to Keith Zimmer and said you know uh, Rex Burkhead is my son's favorite player is there some way we could get like a a picture with him or you know something like that and uh, you know he <laughs> went above and beyond and uh, you know arranged a visit and Jack got to meet Rex we got a tour of the stadium he got to eat with him and um, I'll never forget he he um, we had given him a wristband that said Team Jack Pray, and he said, I'm going to wear this in the, in the game, and I, um, I didn't think he would actually wear it in the game. And uh, no, not only did he wear it in his next game, but I think he wore it all season. And, um, you know, we've just developed into, we developed into great friends, and, um, you know, that kind of flowed into a relationship with the, with the football team. And, um, you know, not long after that, Jack, uh, you know, ran the run, uh, in the spring game, and um, it's just kind of um, it's just kind of really evolved, really evolved from there. You know, the the whole university and team has really wrapped their arms around this cause and um, has really helped us get pediatric brain cancer, um, you know, awareness on a national level. So it's been amazing. That is amazing. Well, it's um, Childhood Cancer Awareness Month this month in September. You mentioned um, the partnership this Saturday at the game. We will be doing the check presentation from the road race. So I guess just how important is it to bring that awareness, to have, to talk about it, and to be able to, to get that message out there that, hey, this is what's kind of affecting a lot of families right now? Yeah, Andy was always really good at... Um, you know, expressing his appreciation to these college athletes and, you know, college athletics in general, um, it's amazing the platform that they have for generating awareness for, uh, you know, various things. And um, the fact that they have chosen to use their platform to generate awareness for pediatric brain cancer is amazing. Um, Andy also said that awareness equals funding and funding equals a cure. So the the causes that um, you know people know about um, are the ones that are going to get the most attention and get you know the money for the research that they need. And Keith Zimmer, that was an important fact that when we were talking about the road race leading up to it, that all of this money is going to families here in Nebraska. In Nebraska, and you were one of those families that was affected by this. So can you can you speak a little bit on that and and how many families are affected by pediatric brain cancer here in Nebraska? Yes, I honestly don't even know the number of kids uh, with pediatric brain tumors right now in Nebraska, but it is huge. I mean, I think it's more than anyone would even um, anyone would even realize. So, it is so important that we have um, the resources here, uh, so kids can um, stay here in Nebraska and get treatment and um, you know get the 
the specialty care that they need and um, you know that's that's what we're trying to do is develop a, a program here with um, multiple pediatric um, specialists uh, that can treat these kids and there actually is a lot of research going on right now too which is really exciting um, that's really evolved in the last few years it wasn't always that way so um, we're really excited that um, you know the football team has come together and supported this cause and that we're able to um, fund research here in Nebraska um, that's helping all these kids. Visiting with Bree Hoffman with Team Jack, you know, you guys do so much and I know that it, it affected your family hard, but a lot of times people might just, you know, take care of their own and move on and that's it. Why are you and your family so convicted about helping so many other people affected by pediatric brain cancer? You know, Andy was the big leader on that. He had such a big heart. He um, he hated this disease so badly, and uh, the fact that any child or any family has to go through it is um, is not acceptable. And so, um, you know, I guess in in his mind and in our minds, that's why we we fight so hard. You know, we're we're blessed. Jack is doing well. Um, you know, and we want every kid to be able to that has this diagnosis to be able to do well. And so um, that's ultimately why we, why we fight so hard. You know, all these, all these kids actually become part of our, uh, our extended family as well. You guys also had your uh, golf tournament this summer, and I know there were some former Huskers involved in that. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, that was pretty great. So we had, I think it was 13 ended up being the number of uh, former Huskers that came back um, and played in the golf tournament and uh, I think they were raised I think $35,000 wow. uh, for research so it was it was pretty amazing and pretty great and we're so uh, so appreciative of you know even the um, the former Huskers are, are still involved um, you know in pediatric brain cancer. Would you ever ever thought when you made that phone call to Keith Zimmer about Rexburg had a photo that the relationship would evolve to where it is even still today and and all these different generations of Huskers that buy into it and want to be a part of it, but then the Huskers that come back that aren't even, don't even live here anymore. No, uh, there's no way. It, it, it's amazing. I, I'm a lot more shy than Andy. I, I think I pretty much, I think I told him to not do it, but he did it anyway. So, <laughs> so, uh, which is, uh, not, uh, surprising, but no, there's, there's no way I think that even he would have imagined, um, that it would have turned into a, a relationship that, um, you know, was really able to uh, promote awareness for pediatric brain cancer. It's amazing. So you were at the road race this summer. Um, and there was a couple years that you had to take off because of COVID, and then I know got back into it. How was it out there this summer? It was great. It was great. It was great to see all the all the people coming out to support the event. It was great to see all the athletes. Um, it's always such an inspiring event event because it's it's uh, it's just uplifting. You know, you've got a lot of the families. Um, you know, a lot of the the kids are able to come. Some aren't able to come. Some have lost their kids, um, you know, and still come and support the event. So it's just great, I think, for all of them to see the support um, that everyone has for, for um, you know, fighting against this disease. We heard you talking about it, um, the importance of getting people involved in this and making it easier and better and more accessible for so many families. And you guys have your annual Radiothon coming up on September 29th. How can fans help support and get involved on that day? Sure. So, uh, of course, uh, listen. <laughs> That's a big one. Uh, we have a lot of family stories um, that are told throughout the Radiothon, and um, it's there's a lot of heart-wrenching stories. It's it's pretty amazing. So um, it's worth your while to tune in. Um, and then, of course, donate. Uh, you can do that. We have, you know, the phones are ringing all day long. Um, you can donate online. And then um, also, again this year, uh, Jim and Sherry Baldonado and the Home Agency are sponsoring the Radiothon, and they're also sponsoring a cash giveaway, which is pretty awesome. There are tickets you can buy for $100, and you can win three different prizes, either $20,000, Five thousand dollars or twenty-five hundred dollars. So it's a pretty big. It's a pretty big wow. prize. So they're going to draw at the radiothon. So um, that's another way that you could um, get involved. So that's awesome. Again, that's coming up the radiothon on September 29th. And Bree, you're going to be here. You got a big check presentation. You excited to be in the stadium again? <laughs> yes, yes. I can't wait. Uh, the kids especially are really excited. So um, we're excited to be there and hopefully watch the Huskers get another win. All right.
Bree Hoffman, appreciate your time and all that you're doing um, to keep continuing to bring awareness to this cause. And we'll look forward to seeing you here on Saturday. Sounds great. Thanks so much for having me. Appreciate everything. Again, that is Bree Hoffman. She's joining us on our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. This Foresightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre owned. You could always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Back with more from Foresightly after this. For. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. The name of our new promotion says it all. Powerball First Millionaire of the Year. Through September 12th, buy a Powerball with PowerPlay ticket at any Nebraska Lottery retailer and enter the voucher number to win a trip to New York City for New Year's Eve on December 31st, 2022. Plus, you'll also get a chance to win $1 million and become the Powerball First Millionaire of 2023. Remember, this promotion ends on September 12th, so plan ahead and play today. Powerball top prize odds one in $292 million. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There is no place like Nebraska, and there is no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and has been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Huskers fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment, and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics. Subaru loves building vehicles for those who pack a lot into life. The 2023 Crosstrek is their way of saying more power to you. With 182 horsepower, you have a world of fun and adventure waiting for you. And the Crosstrek comes with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Love is out there. Find it in the Crosstrek. 182 horsepower engine available on select models. Dato Subaru, located at 2750 Jamie Lane in Lincoln and online at DatoSubaru.com. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Thanks for calling Toyota. This is Jan. How can I help? Hi, thanks for telling my family and me about Toyota's national sales event. Oh, you're welcome. We got a new RAV4 during the event, and it's been great. Well, that makes me happy. Right now through September 6th, it is the best time to drive off in a new Camry Hybrid, Tacoma, and more. So what are you up to? You know, we took the RAV4 to a great spot. We've hiked, rafted, and now we're exploring a cave. Amazing. You're inside a cave right now? Yep. Well, I'm glad the RAV4 could make it all happen. Yeah, my wife talked me into spelunking. I'm actually a complete and absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. Huh, I could have done without the echo on that. Toyota's national sales event is on. Visit your participating Toyota dealer today to enjoy every last second of summer. Toyota, let's go places. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Dealer inventory may vary. Event ends September 6th. I'm so glad we called SOS. Our AC is the coldest. I'm always the coldest. SOS to the rescue. Hey, this is Dakota Scrawford, raw receiver from Louisiana, now playing in Lincoln. When your AC isn't the coldest, you call SOS Heating and Cooling. 
Their techs don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than a competition guarantee. Take it from the coldest. We will keep you cool this summer. Beardmore Subaru celebrates Nebraska volleyball again this season. Five national championships, 47 All-Americans, and a home sellout streak dating back to 2001. The longest streak for any women's sport in NCAA history. Beardmore Subaru has been a proud supporter of Husker volleyball for more than 10 years. Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue has the new Subaru Outback Wilderness. Loaded with off-road ready upgrades and the new Solterra, Subaru's first ever all-electric and all-wheel drive vehicle. Go Big Red. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. At Sedilla and Chevrolet, we help you find vehicles designed with purpose and function, prioritizing safety, technology, and the dependability you need. Visit our Chevy locations in Blair, Crete, Fremont, or Wahoo to shop in stock and inbound inventory or to order your new vehicle. And as your Chevrolet Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles, including medium duty trucks and low cab forwards. Visit SidDillonChevy.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. Chevy, find new roads. We are back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Great to hear from Bree Hoffman. That is such a delightful woman who has had just a really rough decade plus with Jack having his issues and then Andy, who was just a peach of a guy getting his own cancer and losing that bout. It's just a so much that uh, has been piled on that family and anything we can do to help support Team Jack we will definitely uh, do that here at the network. James in Columbus on our text line said I hate being that guy but I'm not gonna stop until games are called fair. Holding can be called in every play but holding outside the shoulder pad chest plate hugging and sometimes going as far as tackling our defensive linemen can't go uncalled this often. Northwestern game was worse the North Dakota, it affects the defensive line stamina, confidence, and sometimes momentum. Big runs in that Northwestern game. Jessica, this was prior to you arriving in Lincoln, but Nebraska went through a stretch. I think it was like 17 or 18 conference games that we didn't get a holding call on the other team. It's like almost impossible. So it's hard not to sit there and feel like you're getting kind of jobbed in the deal. So, James, I feel you. I feel you. There's been a couple of past – uh, interference calls that should have been called. Trey Palmer? Yes. In Ireland? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right. This is no football going on tonight, no football tomorrow night, but we have National Football League starts Thursday night. The Bills and the Rams, a terrific matchup. So I thought that we would tonight get everybody's pick for the Super Bowl, and I'm going to write this down, and I'm going to save it, and we're going to check, see how we did in January when the matchup gets to decided and since this is my late idea to all of you I'm going to go first uh, so you don't have it I think Buffalo is the best team in the National Football League I think they are my favorite to win the championship so I've got Buffalo coming out of the AFC and I'm going with a dark horse in the NFC I'm going with the Minnesota Vikings who I think are going to be really good on offense and much better on defense oh the Vikings play for it in the NFC Andrew is laughing at me, so because he <laughs> laughed at me, he can go next. I'm going next. I, I, I like the Buffalo pick. I'm also going to join you, AFC with Buffalo. I'm going to be different because we have to on this. I'm going, this is going to maybe upset some people, I'm going NFC, the Dallas Cowboys. Woo! You think Dax is ready to break through? I huh? think they might be back, so it could be it could be something different. But I'm See, gonna now go. See, that's to me that's a, a dark, rematch. a darker horse pick than the Vikings. No already. way! Oh yeah, you no go to the power way. rankings. 
Cowboys are listed way below the Vikings. Not not buying on Dallas. All right. So Dallas, Dallas, Buffalo. Was that the... That's two Super Bowls. Back-to-back in the 90s. Yeah. Dallas won both. Both of them. When the Bills couldn't win. Couldn't break through. Four in a row. That's a pretty good documentary. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. By the way, the Bills are the four straight and they get out. All right, Tim. What do you have? Well, you guys beat me to the punch both times. Uh, The Bills, to me, I... A lot of family from Buffalo. That's my whole dad's side of the family. I think um, they're motivated, too, because of the I 13 so. seconds of that Patrick thir- Mahomes. The Chiefs and- game. Uh, the team is, it's like you said, it's the most talented team in the league, most complete roster in the league. Um, Josh Allen is that guy. So I'm picking Buffalo to win okay. it. Okay. I'm we're, also going to go with the dark horse. Here. Yes. And I'm going to go. Buffalo. I'll go with an NFC dark horse. Um, I'm going with the 49ers. I, I think okay. the 49ers are really under the radar right now in a really tough division, but – um, Trey Lance it's all is Trey Lance. a guy, and I, well, I think Shanahan is going to do a lot to, to help yeah. him and, and put him in good situations. And that defense is so nasty. So, yep. All right, Jessica. By the way, Art in Los Angeles is right with Andrew. Hey, give me Cowboys. the Denver Broncos. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> now you're talking about a dark horse. That is. That's Denver good. Broncos and, speaking of revenge tour, Carolina Panthers. Wow. Mm. Wow. Hey, Baker. Baker, you got Baker. I'm gonna, right I'm gonna go that. with Baker. There you go. Okay. I'll, I'll make it interesting. You this guys all went through the Bills. We I'll, did. We all I'll mix it up heavies. a little bit. Who would have thought a year ago that Cincinnati would have been in yeah. the Super no, Bowl? No, you're exactly so, right. Who that's knows? Was, that's the beauty of the yes. NFL. Yes. The teams pop up and have that year where you're like, you don't even. That's why the parody in that league is so amazing. It's well, incredible. and I just Russell Wilson and, and Denver. Yes. I, I'm just they got a really good know, defense. I'm gonna go. They've had some injuries in camp. I think few. A couple guys that are out for the year, but. But they've, no, that AFC West can be a oh. murder's row every week. Yep, yep. Their but, odds are to make it or to win is only, are only sixteen to one. Yep. The Broncos. I think it's the Russell factor. You get it Russell is. Wilson. Hey, he's proven. Uh, let's ride. <laughs> I'll roll with it. Let's ride. I just can't believe Art in Los Angeles is right there with Andrew. Buffalo, Dallas. Oh, there's, there's a couple sleeper teams out there that could go. Oh, yeah, sounds like a call. Yeah, people want to chime <laughs> in. Yeah. Text or call. We'd love to get into the discussion with you. I could see the you. Chargers, too. I think that's the other team in the AFC that's, that's uh, in the AFC West is particularly. That team is scary because Justin Herbert is, He's really he good. is impressive. And, that, and I'd I mean, say the only other sleeper team I, I don't think anybody's talked about in, in the same division as the Cowboys, who I think are a better team than the Cowboys, the Eagles. Eagles, I'd say yeah. the Eagles, Eagles has got a Jalen nasty. Jalen Hurts. And they got that defense now loaded yep. up, and they got some, some dogs. I, th- <laughs> I thought you were going to go Cincinnati. I thought that was your team well, for the Bengals. Well, I'm cheering for them, but I don't, know, I don't know if they can get back. I don't know. I hope they do. I think they're pretty good. I, I hope do. they do. I think, it, I think the AFC, and I'm a huge Chiefs fan, but I think the AFC championship might be Buffalo-Cincinnati. Yeah, I could see it. But, yeah, uh, crazy stuff. So, yeah, if you've got some thoughts, you can certainly uh, fire off text or uh, call – in as well. Let's head to the phone. Let's go to Battle Creek. Hello, Kent. You're up next on the program. Okay, I'll I'll give you the Bills, but the Vikings. No, I'm <laughs> telling you. I'm my, telling I, you. My, okay, my wife. I, I'm a Chiefs fan through and through. I'm a Chiefs fan. I'm not a I'm not a wagon jumper. I'm a Chiefs fan through and through. My wife is a Vikings fan. She said, if we want to learn how to lose, we'll just be a Vikings fan. But the Vikings. Isn't Buffalo kind of the, yeah. the, the, the they're the they're the, the Vikings of the AFC? Yeah, they're the Vikings of the AFC. Yeah, they can't win no, Super Bowls no, no, either. No. They made the playoffs. They made the playoffs last year. I'm telling right? you, the Vikings got rid of Mike Zimmer. They're ready to explode. Ah, uh, not in one year. <laughs> All right, so who's your <laughs> NFC pick? Not, uh, yeah, I don't know on that, but it's not going to be the Vikings. I'll go, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going with the Vikings. I'll go with the Bills. Even though I don't want to because I'm a Chiefs fan, but the Vikings, I don't, I can't do that. Even though hopefully my wife. Well, give me a team. Pick me a team. Throw a name out there. Tampa, Green Bay, San Francisco. Uh, you know what, Green Bay? I don't know. We'll find out here in a couple or why a week, right? No, Sunday. We, yeah, Sunday we'll find out what Green Bay is really like. They're they're gonna smoke the Vikings. <laughs> we'll see. Ken, I'm if writing you down. Goes, if my wife's listening, I need. Okay. Ken, you better call back in when that happens and let Greg know I about will. it. I will. I'm not a Green Bay fan. My, my sister in law lives she's from Wisconsin. She's a diehard Green Bay fan. I don't like that, but they're way better than the Vikings. Packers I'm are favored by a point and a half Sunday, by the way. 
Oh, yeah, it's going to be better. It's going to be worse than that. Uh, we'll see. I'm telling you, don't sleep on the Vikings. Can't good to hear from you as well. Look at that text that just came in from Carla. Carla, Carla with the win. Fall. Carla thinks Andrew's already fallen off of his scooter. <laughs> the Cowboys. I love that. Uh. <laughs> I love that. I can't believe Andrew's a Steelers fan and he's picking the Cowboys. All right, I'm saving these. I'm putting them in a vault. I'm saving the picks oh. and see how we do oh, with this thing. Up. All right, you take a break. Uh, buckle up. Put that phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We're back to wrap up the show next. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant DeKalb brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With the simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics to take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. At Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. For 46 years, our focus has been our customers at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont. Come see for yourself how easy buying your new car, truck, or SUV at Sid Dillon can be. Stop by our dealership in Fremont to order your new vehicle and shop in stock and inbound inventory. And if you need a commercial vehicle, we're your GMC Business Elite dealer. Shop at SidDillonBuickGMC.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. GMC, we are professional grade. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBeefeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. Our Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at Woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned you can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Still time for you to make your Super Bowl projections here in the last few minutes of the program. 402-413-2400. Mike in Grand Island said, I was a junior at Kearney State when the Raiders won the Super Bowl. A friend of mine from Nebraska had gone to Vegas with his family over Thanksgiving. He put 100 down at 80-1 to 1 on the Raiders. There was a pretty good party in Kearney. Out of the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's amazing. What a great story. <laughs> <laughs> and we and the the people are willing to pay more money for Andrew's helmet after the uh, Cowboys pick. You say people, one person, one person, one person. Well, and somebody uh, said that I must have had a concussion by picking the Vikings. So, I mean, there's a lot of people that disagree with you on the Vikings. Yeah, Jeremiah I, wouldn't. I don't think Jeremiah's a big Vikings there's, guy. There's just not a. a 
of one team in the NFC that kind of stands out. It, maybe it's the Packers, but, man, Aaron's got a lot of new whiteouts around him. Can he get that figured out? I think Brady's probably past his, probably past his prime, right, in Tampa? I think so. Uh, you're putting a lot on Trey Lance as a kind of a second-year quarterback to be I, – I like the Niners team, but I just don't know that he's quite ready to lead a team – to a Super Bowl championship, so I tell it's you, wide open. I went with I went with Carolina and um, Denver, but I also would not sa- be sad to see it be Cincinnati and Arizona. Right? Yeah, that would be my oh, that cool. would be my dream pick. That'd be cool. Arizona plays the Chiefs Sunday. That'll be a, yeah. a great game as well. I'm ready for it to get here. The NFL is such an amazing league, and it's because of the parity. We talked about it. Who would have thought a year ago that the Bengals and the Rams would be your Super Bowl pick? That's what's so incredible is that you can't tell from year to year. And you never know. I mean, if a quarterback gets hurt, how it changes it changes right? everything. And so, yeah. Well, you and you at, never know how some of the young quarterbacks, what they're going to do. Some of the guys that are in new situations, how they're going right. to you know, fit in and how that could actually completely change the team's trajectory. Just compare it to the other leagues. In Major League Baseball, you knew the Dodgers, the Astros, the Yankees were going to be really good in the Braves. And that's what we're, we've got. NBA, you always know it's going to be Golden State. The Celtics are good. You know the Sixers are good. You pretty well know going into the year how it's going to turn out. The NFL, if you think you do, you don't. Yeah. It's change. No, I mean, I guess maybe other than the years with the Patriots and Tom Brady. True. They were pretty good. But since then, it's been pretty up in the teams. air. It's, there's been a lot of parity since the, the Patriots broke up. Well, was it? Atlanta that got there one year and should have beat the Patriots, right? They had that big halftime lead and yes. blew it in the second yes. half. Yep. Carolina's been there with Cam Newton, and so you have a lot of different teams. Uh, Dennis says Rams, Raiders, Super Bowl. Whoa, Raiders okay. are Raiders are going to be good. Mm, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. Where is the Super Bowl? Let me find that for me real quick. I don't know where it is this year. Um, um, let me see. Is it in Vegas? Yeah, somebody will be able to find it for us. That'll be fun. I, I, that's something I, that's on my bucket list, too. I, I need to get to the Super Bowl at some point in time to be able to do that. All right, tomorrow night. It's in Las Vegas. It is in Vegas. Okay, I thought I, thought I heard that it was in Vegas. Oh, no, 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 it's in Arizona. Glendale. Yes, so, and then 2024 is in Arizona, or is in Las Vegas. Vegas. Can you imagine Super Bowl week in Vegas? <laughs> that will be gracious. wild. Yeah. That will be crazy. Yeah, Andy Harris, of course, he's from Arizona. He let us know it's What's in uh, Anybody Glendale. in the chat room? Picking out who they think is going to get there? Um, they haven't given their, like, matchup. I see a lot. Someone said, well, Crypto King on. said Bills and Saints. But then he also likes the Cowboys, I think. Saints are going to be okay. Their defense will be pretty good. Uh, Jameis Winston, I think, is healthy again. Uh, we'll see how they turn out. But, yeah, everybody's laughing at my Vikings pick. We'll see, folks. We'll see who's laughing in a couple months. Uh huh. All right, no show tomorrow. We have Husker Volleyball. They'll be playing the Creighton Blue Jays, a matchup of top 20 teams at the CHI Center in Omaha. Early start, 4.30 pregame, 5 o'clock first serve, J.B. and Lauren. And then Thursday night, the volleyball show at 6, the football show at 7. So our next full full blast show is Friday night, party night. Party night. But I'm going I'm to duck out on you Friday night. I'm doing a football bank. Hey, Searles is here, so he'll step in to fill okay. the party. Very good. We hey, will. got a couple more. Uh, Crypto King said Bills and Saints. And he's with me, Denver and the Bills. Wow. This is Denver Bills. Actually, he said Denver Bills. And then Children well, of the Corps. both make it. They're both the AFC. <laughs> what? Buffalo and Denver are both AFC teams. Oh. Well, they both can't get there. Then Children of the Corps said Bills and Ravens. They're both AFC. And you do have somebody on here. JJ says Vikings will rule. Yeah, hey, wait, JJ. Just live <laughs> on the bandwagon. Jump on the bandwagon. Hey, and buckle up with the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. For the Cowboy, Andrew Dowdy, Tim Mohop, Jessica Cootie. I'm Greg Sharp. <laughs> Have a great night. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Beardmore Subaru celebrates Nebraska volleyball again this season. Five national championships, 47 All-Americans, and a home sellout streak dating back to 2001. The longest streak for any women's sport in NCAA history. Beardmore Subaru has been a proud supporter of Husker volleyball for more than 10 years. Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue has the new Subaru Outback Wilderness. 
loaded with off-road ready upgrades and the new Solterra, Subaru's first ever all-electric and all-wheel drive vehicle. Go Big Red. Every single day, Central Valley Ag works with our farmers to feed the globe. From white corn, non-GMO, food grade, and organics, the world's appetite for food grade grain is growing every day. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Find the rep who can help you plan next year's value-added grain program at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Back by popular demand, Hy-Vee drive through Flu Shot Clinics. Just follow the signs in your Hy-Vee parking lot to get your flu shot right from your car. It's easy, convenient, and no appointment or prescription is necessary. drive through Flu Shots are offered on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 7 p.m. Or get your flu shot inside your Hy-Vee pharmacy at any time with no appointment necessary. Plus, when you